Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, I just want to take a little moment here. Uh, occasionally I have to uh, have these little rants and uh, today I have a little bit of a rant concerning the Order of Operations Convention. Uh, basically uh, what I run into a lot is many people got, will claim falsely uh, that they were taught to solve left to right and ignore the Order of Operations. Um, I can't keep track of how many times I've been told by people, oh, it's the old school way, or back in the 40s when I learned math, you know, we solved left to right, not this new, you know, this new age math, or um, you'll hear people talk about common core, all kinds of stuff they don't understand, and say that, you know, oh, you just did it left to right. And uh, the truth is that when people say it, it's a real tired and overused excuse uh, made by people who've really forgotten what they were taught. Or the other good possibility is they never really paid attention or understood what was taught to them in the first place. A lot of people will uh, forget things and, and rather than uh, realize that they forgot what they were taught, um, they'll come up with a lot of excuses like that. Um uh, you know, one of the things you can look at is uh, people will talk about the Order of Operations Convention and say it was all done left to right, and yet you have this wonderful formula for the area of a circle that's been around for forever, <laughs> practically. A equals pi r squared. Uh, you know, you mean you've got ancient civilizations, Egyptians, Babylonians. You know, they had pretty accurate approximations for pi. Uh, if you remember, pi is the ratio of a circumference to the diameter of a circle, which is about 3.14159, keeps going on and on. But, uh, you know, you can look at the formula for the area of a circle, uh, and I'll say someone brought this up to me once um, in a forum and said, you know, all these people that are saying left to right, yeah, you know, why don't they just stop and, and describe the area of a circle and see what they think? And he brought up a really good point, because you can look at the formula for the area of a circle, and you can, first you realize that you're not multiplying pi by the radius, and then squaring, uh, you know, the result. You're not, you know, you're not taking pi times r, uh, it's pi r squared, okay, which is the same thing as saying r squared pi, but when it, whenever you see the formula for the area of a circle, it's always pi r squared, okay? So you're not going pi times r and then squaring. No, you're not squared. The pi is never squared in this. And, and the reason really is because if you remember the order of operations convention, um, you've got uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division left to right, addition and subtraction left to right. There's four steps to the order of operations. Now, you might live in a country like I think in the UK, they refer to like BODMAS, which would be brackets, and then you call exponents orders. Uh, there are some places that will refer to exponents as indices. Uh, you, might be, you might have heard of things like PEMDAS. BODMAS, BIDMAS, there's different acronyms that some people use, but there's really just four steps. And so, you know, one of those steps is exponents. R squared, you have exponents. The two is an exponent. So exponents have priority over multiplication. That's why you're actually squaring the radius before you're multiplying by pi. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. I mean, you've got that formula that's been around forever. But people are forgetting the fact that exponents have priority over multiplication. So, yeah, that's that's why. Uh, you know, if you look at the problem for the area of a circle, we, you know, we're, like I said, we're using exponents for the radius. We're raising it to the power of 2. Uh, again, exponents have precedence over multiplication in the problem. So we're solving r squared before we multiply by pi. Uh, and then another good way to think about this is just remember that exponents are nothing more than repeated multiplication, right? It's easier to write something like 8 to the 6th power than to write out 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, right? You, you'd have to do that six times. Easy, easier to write 8 to the 6th power. Uh, so that's really why. And um, in the same way, uh, multiplication is shorthand for addition. So if you have something like 
5 times 5, well, we know 5 times 5 is 25. It's easier to write 5 times 5 than it is to write 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Um, so, you know, if you're ignoring that and you're just solving left to right, well, you're going to get the wrong answer because you're messing up multiplication. You've got to realize that that multiplication is, you know, uh, a compact form of addition. So you have to deal with that. Same thing with the exponents. Um, you know, Egyptians calculated the area of a circle, and pi has been known for probably 4,000 years at least. I think the Babylonians, they approximated pi to be 3. You know, that they, they didn't have it all the way out, like 3.14, so on. They had it approximated to 3, but they understood that you multiplied it by the square of the radius. So the whole point of this whole rant is that I'm, I'm hoping that people will just stop the excuses about this left to right nonsense. The problem is you get into forums online and you'll have one person say it and the next person is like, yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I think that's what it was for me too. And then you'll get a whole group of people and pretty soon somebody will say, well, these 10 people over here, they said they were taught left to right too. And, and the fact is a lot of people just forget but uh, it's a lot easier to affiliate yourself with a bunch of other people that also forgot and have that same excuse. So uh, I just want everybody to keep this in check that um, the Order of Operations Convention has been around, real, you might as well say forever, uh, basically, if we're talking lifetimes of people. There's nobody here that can say, well, in the 70s we were taught this, or in the 80s we were taught this. Now, I challenge anybody to bring up any proof. And please don't use Quora <laughs> as an example. I've seen so many people go, well, it says in Quora that uh, Bodmus wasn't introduced till 1988. You realize Quora is just a place where people post opinions, right? It's not like a, a fact database. So, yeah. Anyhow, enough of the rant. i got to move on with other videos. But uh, please check out some of the other puzzles we have here. Uh, I try to find some of the more popular ones uh, on forums online and and go through and solve those. Uh, so yeah, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.